of exile. Oh, well, like I need to never mind. <laughs> All right. Exile. So it looks like all right, Daryl Stalden, get on the mic right gotta now. Gotta bring Daryl in for this annoying CTF game. Yeah, boy. Ha! Let's go, baby. All right, we getting started in the Hanwha. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Pretty close, Daryl. Pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what's up? Uh, why does Matt be looking like nighttime, man? It seems like uh, conditions not cohesive to battle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello? I don't y'all know. Why, I don't help know. What's I don't, going on with this? I don't know why to it's so. Y'all, y'all beating around the bush right now. <laughs> I don't know why it's so dark there. You're the main commentator, though. Come on. Uh, it looks here. like everybody be using the same, the same ass two guns, painted different colors and shit with different stickers on the side of it. There you go. Um, that's the breadth of my knowledge of this game so far. <laughs> uh, it seems like somebody's using a trash can as cover, and I've definitely been there, my dude. You know what I'm saying? The enemy's taking our flag. <laughs> you have a lot of you have a lot of experience. With, you have a lot of experience with that, Daryl. Uh, with what? Using trash cans as cover, yeah, or you... playing this video game with a white <laughs> bread? Well. Uh, I actually lived in covered. a trash can for a few <laughs> years. Everybody on the block thought that shit was hilarious, calling me Oscar and shit. They kept our as flag. if my life wasn't in shambles, but it is what it is. <laughs> Yo, but where the bitches at right now? Oh, shit. Well, you, better check out that, you better check out that chat there, Daryl. Oh, what's up? Somebody with a pink name was like, what's up? I did. There's an XMRS violence. Uh, her name is Pink, so I'm assuming it's a her. And if that's that's a white bread, be playing a joke on Daryl. There's gonna be some issues. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, what type of game is they playing? They playing a team deathmatch? Cause Fine. I ain't seen nobody with a sniper rifle, man. That's, that's, that's rule number one right there in the Daryl Stall handbook. You need a sniper rifle. <laughs> that's I'm pronouncing that correctly. Correct? Yeah, yes. you are. All right, fantastic. Anyway. Looks like they're playing capture the flag, Daryl. Are they playing what in the what? Capture the flag. Sure, I'm sure you've played that occasionally when you were a kid. Oh yeah, once in a schoolyard when I grew up in the the picket fences and the come on motherfucker. Do you know who I am? I told you I'm from <laughs> Greensboro. By the way, y'all don't know the the story of Daryl Stone. Here we go real quick. Number one all time at the quarterback position. That's right. Number one all time uh, flag, passing yards. Self explanatory. Obviously. Uh, Number one all time uh, receiving yards. Enemy flag when I threw the ball to my damn self, I got wide open every time, baby. Daryl Stalton, man, nobody be able flag. to cover me, baby. You know what I'm saying? Clyde's there. I got enemy more than one thing rock. in common with that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, enemy flag uh, I, I lost my train of thought. I'm just a beast. That's all you got to know about D. Stall, son. I'm about to get on this video game right here and, and take this over. Hold on. <laughs> Hey, y'all gonna let me play in this shit, or I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just a bystander? Cause I'm trying to get in this. Son. <laughs> I think you're just a bystander. There, oh, what's up with that, man? That, that's that's some that's some. Oh man, that's some bull stuff. I was also the kicker uh, for Greensboro High School. I had an 89 yard field goal one time. 89 saying, yards. Man. God, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I held it myself too. It was like a pump, but a field goal. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> Uh, man, I got fans in the chat room, man. They telling me I got number one rushing yards, also. That, which is true, but at the same time, it's like, how you know that? That's a little terrifying. Unless the legend of Daryl Stalton has penetrated the internet, in which case, I understand. It's, it's definitely a pretty epic legend. I think. Enemy I think it's been on the internet for years. Yeah, yeah. They was gonna make a video game of it. I heard they changed the name to something that starts with a Z. It was gonna be the Legend of uh, of Daryl, but uh, I ain't never heard of the game since. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, didn't they, they also try to? Didn't they also make a football game about you, or they were going to? But they ended up. Yeah, they it. did actually. Mutant League football for the Sega Genesis. I'm the main character. Uh, I'm on the box of the game, and if you use me, you automatically win. So naturally, that creates issues uh, inside of the community. Enemy flag acquired. <laughs> The, the Mutant League football community, which is still alive and well to this day. It is, it's a pretty epic community. I heard they got like 10 people playing that game. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Every single one of them. Uh, a friend a friend and family member of D. Stahl, son. Just show them some love. All right, let's they talk. have our flag. <laughs> hey, hey Daryl, you need to... Uh, can you grab somebody to kill our... Can you, tell, uh, can you say Mark the Shark for it? Uh, who the what? Mark the Shark. Can you, can you say That's that? That's a hearted ass name. Uh, All right, somebody's, uh, somebody's name. Mark the Shark. Mar 
Mark. Man, why you gonna pick that faggot ass name? Ah, <laughs> uh, Mark the shot. I gotta sound like one of y'all to say this shit. That's when you know <laughs> some bold stuff, man. There's some shit be going on with this. Anyway. Uh, uh, what do you think of this game, Daryl? You've been checking it out a little bit. You know, it, it's looking like people just shooting popcorn at each other, man. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. And like some, they be having these fruity ass little dots on their guns and shit. One of them's pink, one of them's purple, one of them's yellow and green. It's like, what the fuck? What you got going on with that shit? Yo, my boy working FTW though, man. He be putting up that ratio real quick. I ain't seen a like that. He's about to drop that nuke on the other team if they ain't careful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Switching sides. He got a 15 kill streak, son. <laughs> Pretty close. Pretty close. I think you might have your games mixed up there, though. There. Just, think you, just maybe. Part of me. I was playing with my etch a sketch real quick. Did you say something? <laughs> is, that, is that your is that your video game, Daryl? Is that what you use in the trash can? The trash can. We still talk about the trash can. <laughs> yeah, we're still talking about the trash can. All right, what about the trash can? What you want to know? You gonna laugh at me too? No, I'm not laughing at you, man. I want to know what do you do for entertainment when you live in the trash can? Oh, uh, when you live in trash can, you know what I'm saying? Like that ain't necessarily where you, 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 you where where your daily activities take place. That's just where you sleep at night. So you know what I'm saying? Like I sleep in a trash can, but I I, I lived on the block. Technically, that makes me sound homeless, which is completely untrue. Because as I previously stated, I had an establishment where I rested my head at night. The trash can. The trash can. <laughs> Our flag's back. Are you, well, you considering the trash can I mean, as an establishment? Down the road from the trash can, uh, which was fantastic because usually I would eat people's fries that they throw away, and that's how I survived. But I managed to get a job there, and, and shit turned around for me immediately. You know what I'm saying? And, and I was about nine years old when I was living in the trash can, and that's right around the time where I started to discover uh, my football prowess was, was incredibly high, and, and I got my scholarship to go to Greensboro High School. <laughs> Your scholarship to go to high school? It was exclusive. <laughs> How so? How I was so? actually in, in college also. I was all set to be playing. Cam Newton done stole my spotlight because that was going to be me this year. But uh, the problem was I was kicked out of college when they found out I couldn't actually read. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, you know quiet. what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> I, I, I heard I, I heard your your trying hooked on phonics there, there or you got a uh, Rosetta Stone. I'm, I'm quite literate now. Uh, I sat down with a dictionary one day, and Daryl Stone's so motherfucking intelligent that I just memorized every word in the English language, written, spoken, and in the uh, sign language. So now I have no issues communicating in in any way, shape, or form. I can write you a, a letter right now if you like. What's uh what, what was that? What was the best word you found in the dictionary, there, Daryl? Uh, my favorite word. In the dictionary was philiberous. What, what does that mean? Means, uh, possessing uh, 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 a massive back. gut. Possessing a massive gut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's being a real corpulent motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like a fat bass. <laughs> and the reason I found that funny is because some of y'all might find this crazy, but one of Daryl Stone's biggest wishes was to be a fat bastard. But unfortunately, I'm just so motherfucking gifted that there is no way I will ever become fat. So, I mean, it, it comes with a territory. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I tried to get fat once. You know that movie where the motherfucker eat the McDonald's for a month and a half or some shit? Yeah. I did that I shit. I lost flag. 10 pounds and got incredibly <laughs> more muscle. The enemy's taking our flag. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... I can't imagine how that would happen when you're living in a trash can. Like... Yeah, yeah, neither can I. But like I said, that was more of my adolescence living in a trash can. I mean, I learned a lot from it. I wouldn't change shit. Even though all y'all white breads will kill y'all damn dogs shot. behind your goddamn white picket fences and shit, but that's all good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I learned out there, in the, I learned how to survive. Somebody, somebody in the chat wants to know if you play Pokemon, Daryl. Do I play Pokemon? Motherfucker. Flag. I heard they coming out with Pokemon Black and White. The that's a flag. pretty strange coincidence, if you ask me. So that should answer your question whether or not I play Pokemon. <laughs> and what version I'm getting of Pokemon. <laughs> With your bitch ass, hit me with some of that Japanese bullshit. These motherfuckers just repeat their names over and over. They can speak English, motherfuckers. The cat is out of the bag. They just repeat their own names so you don't fuck with them. Kind of like illegal immigrants. How many times have you heard this? No English? 
New Inglés? Yeah. It's the same shit as saying Squirtle. Squirtle. That's motherfucker laughing at you on the inside, bitch. <laughs> you got played. <laughs> Miss Violence wants to know if, if you if uh, you and her could date. Is she a so, white girl? Or? I, I think so. Yeah, she's white. All right, all right. I, I mean, mean I don't know about uh, date. You can buy me Isn't some shit for damn sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know your daddy can money, girl. I know he about to be mad angry when you bring me home, too, baby. Enemy flag returned. Oh, another bitch, a baby case. All right, this girl be sounding, sounding right with her name like baby cakes. Yeah, girl, we can get down. Baby cakes, add me on MySpace. It's Daryl Stalin with an underscore in between the Daryl and the Stalin, and we can get down whenever you try and do, baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you still rocking that MySpace, Daryl? What do you mean, still rocking that MySpace? That shit just came out, motherfucker. They be adding the new shit to it every single day. We they got music and shit. Uh, y'all can y'all can do karaoke on the website. I've done extensive research on MySpace. And the business model is is, 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 is flawless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How so, Daryl? How so? How so what? How is their business model flawless? Uh, because they're tailored towards marketing their product at people in middle school. And, and older <laughs> gentlemen looking at middle schoolers, correct? Uh, that is a possibility, yes. <laughs> you ever been on the? Uh, you ever been on Twitter, Daryl? You got a Twitter account? Uh, a what now? A Twitter a account. A tweet a tw the hell is a Tweety Bird? <laughs> you know, it's this website. It's called Twitter. A wet? A what? This website is called Twitter. You can oh. uh, send out little comments to each other on the internet, kind of like MySpace, but uh, yeah, you know. yeah, just another one of them <laughs> fake ass motherfuckers trying to rip off that MySpace. Let me tell you something, man. My man Tom is the most vicious motherfucker in the business. You know Tom personally? I think it's down, man. What's up? You know Tom personally? I mean, you are, Daryl. Yeah, he's my fr he was my very first friend in MySpace, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, he held it down for Daryl Starr when nobody else knew who the fuck I was. You know what I'm saying? When MySpace first came out, that's around the time that I was still living in a trash can. <laughs> and and I, stole, I stole a white man's Blackberry one day. And from that day forward, I had MySpace. And eventually... Uh, the BlackBerry ran out of service or whatever. Uh, but that's by that point, I was rich and famous as Daryl Stone. And I had a computer. And you had a computer. That's true. And I had my MySpace. So, I mean, that was really uh, a big moment in my life when it was like, no matter what happened to you, Daryl, you always have your MySpace. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, yeah, you know what? That shit's true. You know what I'm saying? That's some profound ass shit. No, no matter what the fuck happened to you, man, you're going to exist on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's true. You'll always be there for the, you know, for the history of the internet. That's right, baby. What uh, <laughs> taking the internet over? <laughs> you, I declare war on anything not MySpace and the internet. MySpace and Daryl Stalton is taking over uh, this Tweety Bird you be talking about, uh, this goddamn book face, whatever the fuck. Listen, I know a bitch that had a book face when I was at Greensboro High School, and that shit was not cute. Why so many people are down for the cause all of a sudden with this other shit, I don't understand, but it is.